fellow Brick Fanatics, DJ Bricks here, back for another video, and today I have a review for a 2022 LEGO uh, Marvel Black Panther Wakanda Forever set. It is King Namor's Throne Room, set number 76213. It's recommended for building ages 7 and up. It comes with 355 pieces and retails for about $35 here in America and uh, features two builds, uh, Namor's throne from the movie as well as three minifigures including uh, Namor himself. So without further ado, let's start deconstructing the set and see how it stacks up starting as always with the minifigures. So taking a look at Shuri, uh, accessory wise she comes with uh, the gauntlets here and with uh, blue studs at the end to rep represent her uh, weapons in the film. Uh, torso print is very nicely done as well as leg print uh, carrying down all the way to the feet there. Uh, it does represent her outfit uh, that she wears for most of the movie uh, but is different. I think that's just because like I was looking at concept art or something. Really nice back torso printing. She's, she's got a really nice new hair piece exclusive to the Wakanda Forever uh, line so far. But taking that off, she does have a nice face. Uh, it does represent Letitia Wright pretty well. And uh, flipping that around, she's got an even bigger smile. Uh, I would have preferred an angry or aggressive facial expression, but this does fine, and uh, that's what her face looks like highlighted by uh, her hair. Next up is Atuma, uh, same as the previous that we took a look at him in. Uh, you got some nice torso printing, some nice leg printing. Uh, it's not carried around to uh, the side of the legs, which is unfortunate. Uh, comes with a silver spear um, as an accessory. And then he's got this really nice elaborate headdress. Uh, it's not dual molded. Uh, the sand blue is just painted on. Uh, but it does look really nice and it is really nicely detailed. Not fully accurate to the movie, but again, Lego may have been looking at concept art there. Uh, he's got a nice uh, face print there, uh, detailing um, a lot of nice details in there. And then he's got a nice uh, secondary face uh, with a little bit more aggressiveness to it. Uh, and uh, it looks really nice. Uh, they're um, covered by the helmet. Uh, but I will point out again, uh, when this helmet is on, you can see the back uh, face if you have it displayed like that. And the star of the set, the namesake, Namor, uh, he's got for an accessory, let's just knock that out of the way. It's a spear, it's brick built, uh, made up. you can see the pieces that it's made up of. It's very nicely done, it gets the point across. Um, but taking that away... Uh, we can take a better look at Neymar and right off the bat there are a few problems here but uh, most of it I can just chalk up to concept art uh, who knows what Lego is looking at uh, the main complaint I've been seeing uh, within the community is uh, his face it's not accurate to uh, how he looks like in the movie he's missing all the facial hair and the piercings uh, but that may just have been a case of they decided the facial hair way later in production or they didn't get the rights to use the actor uh, based off whenever they sat, um, signed the actor for the role. So that may just be the case here. Uh, we do have a reuse of the uh, old elves uh, hairpiece with the pointed ears here. Uh, they are printed uh, with a skin tone and then some green for the piercings that are actually on the ear, but then the wrong spot. So again, uh, concept art. Uh, mine is a little uh, not opaque enough. Uh, you can't really tell that it's the same skin tone. And then looking at the rest of the torso here, uh, it's very nicely designed. Uh, you have all the nice Aztec details uh, that are inspired and you have a nice 
printing f detail for the trunks there. Th this is detail I didn't think LEGO would actually capture, but they did it anyway. So uh, you had the wings on the feet there. So that is very nice to see uh, on Namor uh, with the wings and stuff uh, for the feet. Very vital part of Namor. Uh, but mine uh, on this side is at least printed a little farther down. Uh, you can see some of the white uh, mist underneath uh, the wing there. So something to watch out for as well. Love bad quality. And then he does have an alternate expression uh, with a uh, more aggressive one. And uh, that is what it looks like uh, framed by the hair there. So here is the set all built up. Pretty much we get a small sub uh, for Shuri. And then we get uh, the titular uh, Namor Stone build time. Uh, wasn't too long. Uh, it went together pretty smoothly. Uh, it does use uh, quite a few uh, snot techniques in uh, both the throne and the sub, uh, but we're going to start taking a closer look at both, uh, starting with the smaller sub. So uh, this is a pretty interesting design for a sub. Uh, you have the Nexonite uh, shield hex pieces here uh, used for the windows. That creates a very nice shape. Uh, all the decorations you see on this thing are stickers. Uh, they're all fairly easy to apply, um, none too difficult. Uh, they do use some nice uh, snot techniques on the side here for the engine and whatnot. You can see nice details here, uh, no real uh, parts showing, uh, nice little part usage for the exhaust for the sub. Nice shaping up the front here. Uh, opening this up uh, to get Sherry in here is pretty easy. You just flip all the glass panels open and uh, you can fit Sherry in there. Uh, how she fits in here is pretty interesting. Uh, you've got a uh, little, the little uh, piece for their feet to grab. Uh, she just slots in there. Um, face down so she fits in there like that you do you have to remove uh, her gauntlets to fit her in here so uh, luckily they're a big piece so you don't really uh, risk losing them but again I would have liked to have seen somewhere on this sub uh, clipped in uh, and then you just shut this up and uh, you can either have her like that, which is what the box shows, but if you want to have her fully uh, submerged in there and not have any any uh, leakage, you kind of have to push her all the way down. Uh, but then you get this weird image of her uh, kind of face down, uh, not really seeing where she's going, but... Luckily, uh, there's a sticker in there uh, for a control panel, so maybe she uh, pilots and sees uh, where she's going to, uh, that way. But again, it easily closes up, uh, and she looks very snug in there. Uh, other play feature for this, uh, aside from the switchability, uh, you got the two, two stud shooters on either side here. They are the newer style. Uh, you can push them, and they fire... They fire trans blue studs, so. And uh, other thing to note, it does have a nice little uh, rounded tile at the bottom here. So if you, if you want, you can have it on the table and it just uh, glue, uh, glides very uh, smoothly there. Uh, so you can pretend that it's kind of swimming through the water. And then uh, looking at the main build of this set, uh, Namor's Throne here. Uh, it's very nicely designed. Uh, the whole point is that this is supposed to be uh, the jaws of a Megalodon uh, that make up the most of his throne here. But it's all pretty well built up on this nice little dais. Uh, you got some fish here, uh, really ingeniously used. Uh, uh, showing that it's underwater. It's very nicely done. You got some trans blue there. Uh, you got stickers all around the jawline there uh, to add provided detail. Uh, teeth there. You got 
a nice little area, giant area for studs, which is where Neymar is supposed to go and he's supposed to sit there. So that does give you some nice uh, do look for scale there of Neymar actually on his throne. Uh, Again, this is very nicely designed. You got some seaweed on either side. You got this nice little uh, back part of the throne here um, with some more of those transved lights there uh, just to give detail. Uh, here, uh, you you got a little gold sticking out. That is a play feature. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, but overall, uh, I do like the design of this. this uh, the designer did a really good job at making this look really nice and uh, really detailed and uh, really uh, really nice looking so flipping this around uh, you've got a little hinge here uh, that you can open up and you can pull this out uh, and you can pull it out all the way and uh, it it has a little bit of storage. Uh, you get uh, four gems there in uh, different colors, uh, pink, uh, blue, yellow, and green there. Uh, that isn't, that's just to add a little bit of playability for kids, uh, make up a play scenario or something. Uh, just gives, again, gives kids something else to play with, uh, aside from the conflict of just uh, Sherry versus Neymar and all that. But pushing this back in, if you push it in all the way, I, if you push it in all the way, that's where this comes in too. That, this is one of the disc launcher pieces, um, and it's very nicely built in, and it's very well hidden. But pushing it all the way in, uh, pushing the... It's a very hard play feature to uh, get to work here, but you have to pretty much just force it like really hard and um, it'll fly out if you have to like push it really hard uh, to get anything to fly out of there. So uh, I appreciate the play feature. It's just kind of uh, poorly integrated in my opinion. Uh, it doesn't really uh, work unless you're really forcing it. Uh, but that being said, overall, very nicely designed. I really like uh, how this came out. Looking at the extra pieces, of course, uh, you do get some extra ammo. You do get two extra gold discs for the disc launcher, and then you do get two extra blue studs for uh, the stud shears on the submarine. But uh, for the main extra pieces, uh, you get an extra trigger, you get an extra spike piece, and you do get an extra one of each of the colors there uh, for the gems that are included. Otherwise, you get a couple extra barbs and stuff. Uh, look at the instructions, one booklet, uh, book bound, that newer style that we see with uh, the relaunch of the paper bag and stuff. Front book does display that, uh, front page there. Does take uh, three bags worth of building. Um, sure, he does support the progress bar. And then build takes about 122 pages worth of building there. Uh, you do have a cross sell, however, it's for the weirdly for the Infinity Saga sets of the year and not for the rest of the Wakanda, Wakanda Forever Wave. I think that's really odd. And then you get the parts inventory and the pirate there. You can look at the box, standard uh, 30 to 40 dollar size here uh, with the long length. Uh, you got the Black Panther Wakanda Forever uh, branding there with the logos up the top. Uh, you got the promotional art of uh, the characters, Shuri, Okoye, and Nakia and all that. Avengers logo, uh, that newer style uh, with the bricks with uh, comic book panels there. A uh, nice call out of the minifigures. Really beautiful artwork here out of the front where it's just showing uh, the underbar scene of Namor and his throne and everything. It's really cool. Uh, top of the box, we got Shuri sporting the actual size reference there. And then on the back of the box, we just have uh, various callouts of uh, the play features. Uh, interestingly enough, they don't show the uh, disc launch feature. Uh, it's not even, uh, it's shown on the front of the box, though, however. Uh, then you got a Lego 
logo version of that uh, promotional artwork on the side there as well. Getting into my final thoughts, build-wise, um, only real complaints I have here, uh, primarily with the sub, uh, how Sherry fits into it, and uh, the fact that there's not really any spot for her gauntlets to go uh, when you do put her in there. Uh, I always... I always encourage LEGO designers to um, put weapon storage on vehicles uh, if they can fit it, and uh, I think they could have fit it here, or they could have like designed the craft better to accommodate that. I mean, you can still fit her in there, but the glass isn't going to fully close up if you do, so... That's a downside there, and then the playability uh, with the throne of that disc launcher feature. I mean, it works, but it, it does take a lot of force uh, with uh, the little mechanism to uh, make it go. So, uh, overall, it's very nicely designed. I really think that it's a uh, really uh, good display piece there, uh, but... Where it falls down is a little bit in the playability. Uh, Minifigure wise, uh, Namor, uh, he's p perfect. Uh, it's just not accurate to the movie, and we can probably chalk that up like all the rest of the main figures I've showcased for these sets. It's very clear that Lego got concept art or something, and uh, they had a deal uh, design with that. Uh, so Neymar is not really accurate to how he's depicted in the movie, uh, but he is kind of fine for if you want comic book Neymar. Uh, he kind of fits in that category as well. He kind of can fit both. Um, but on the flip side of Tuma, uh, because we got side leg printing with Namor, uh, I just think that Tuma needs the side leg printing. Uh, with Namor, they can they prove they can do it, and with Shuri, they prove and Tuma here they both prove that Lego can do leg printing whenever they want. They just choose to skimp out on it for production reasons or whatever. Uh, but it kind of kind of feels hollow uh, when we get Neymar with the side leg printing and then we get Atuma who has uh, all that skirt and tunic detailing um, and it's not carried around around the leg so that's a massive uh, let down there as well as uh, just the uh, uh, unavoidable thing of uh, the alternate head kind of peeking through that headdress there uh, that's not really a a negative uh, it's just kind of a lot down there uh, quality wise uh, only real complaint I have my sticker sheet uh, came in crumpled so uh, that's kind of unfortunate but with it with the minifigures uh, again Neymar uh, bears the brunt of this uh, his the the coloration on the ears uh, uh, the skin tone is not crisp it it doesn't look like his actual skin tone uh the green on for the top of the earrings is pretty fine that's pretty well printed it's just the skin tone and then on my copy of namor on one of his legs the white on the wings is kind of offset so it it, it doesn't really look good uh overall for the price too uh 35 dollars for this in the in the united states uh I would like to see it at 30 uh, This really screams to be a $30 set. Uh, that extra $5, I don't really feel like it's worth uh, that extra $5. This definitely should be a $30 set, and I do encourage uh, pick up a, a sale. Uh, if, if it comes to a sale at 30 bucks. that's a pretty perfect price range for this. Uh, that $5 just is... Um, little bit too much there so with all that considered uh set does get a 7 out of 10 for me again highly recommend it you do get the main villain of wakanda forever uh, you get sherry main hero you get a lackey you get a really nice display piece of uh, namor's throne to sit on so all of that is really a good set this is really solid set um does have a few problems 
that does it for this video. Uh, let me know what you think about the set in the comments below. Uh, how did I do on my review? Uh, I always look forward to having a discussion with you guys in the comments. Uh, like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell, share, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Until next time, stack on.